tyres are incredibly important. After all, they're the only thing that connect a car to the road, so you'd like to think they're up to the job. But how much do you actually know about the tyres on your car? Premium tyre manufacturers are concerned about the quality of some imported tyres. They're not fakes and they're not even illegal, but they do look very similar to premium brands. But just because they look alike, it doesn't mean they'll do the same job. At this research facility in the Midlands, Richard Durance is a continental tyre designer. In the UK, where we get around 200 days of rain every year, the design of your tyre tread is not just about styling, it also plays a crucial role in keeping your car under control in wet conditions. But the main part of the pattern is these four central grooves which are used to uh, enable water to flow in and out of the tread design. The lateral grooves in there again to help with the dispersion of water. If your tyres don't cut through surface water effectively, your car will end up aquaplaning. In other words, your tyres will surf on top of the water, no longer connected to the road, and you will be unable to steer or stop. Tread patterns are an important part of a tyre's branding, and recently some of Richard's colleagues found a tyre on the market that outwardly looked very similar to the ones Richard has spent months researching and developing. The two tyres we have here, you can see the pattern designs are very, very similar with these main four circumferential grooves on the pattern. Um, the cross uh, siping is very, very similar on both designs. Even the graphics on the sidewall is very, very similar. If, if you were to walk into a tyre dealer and see these two tyres side by side, at first glance you may think they are very, very similar. In reality, there will be some big differences with the design of these tyres, with the polymers and the rubber compounds that are used in the tread. So these two tyres may look alike, but if the cheaper ones are made of inferior rubber, their performance on the road may be significantly different. To find out, both sets of tyres will be fitted to this Golf and then accelerated up to 70 miles an hour on the banked oval here at this special test facility near Hanover in Germany. The car will then hit a wet road which is specifically controlled to have a constant one millimetre of standing water on it. The test driver will hit the brakes and the GPS unit in the car will measure how long it takes to stop using the Continental tyres. So 70 mile an hour, hit the brakes. Well, that all looked pretty much under control, but to gain a true picture, the team then repeats the test seven times so they can average out what the actual stopping distance would be. Then it's back to the garage where the Continental tyres are replaced by the widely available similar-looking budget tyres. Out on the track, Richard is preparing for the second part of the test. So we're positioning these foam blocks in exactly the position at the average value of where the Continental tyre stopped. That's 59.81 metres. Test conditions are exactly the same as before, 70 miles an hour, and we'll see exactly what happens. So 70 miles an hour, hit the brakes. So you can see quite a difference in the actual stopping distance. Again, the test is repeated seven times to gain a true average, but it seems the inferior rubber of the budget tyres is much less effective. The team reconvenes in the garage to see just how bad the results are. At the point the Continental tyre was stationary, the, uh, the budget tyre was still doing 31 miles per hour at that point. Clearly, what we've, what we've shown here today, these, the tyres are certainly not the same. Yeah? They may visually look similar, um, but they're certainly not the same when it comes to performing like this in the wet. A pedestrian that's hit by a car doing 31 miles an hour only stands a 27% chance of surviving. The other damning statistic was that the budget tyres took a further 14 metres to stop. That's an extra three and a half car lengths. But the sale of these tyres in the UK is legal because incredibly, there is no wet braking test that has to be passed before a tyre hits the shelves. Budget tyres are widely available, but their performance varies greatly to that of premium tyres. If you are concerned about the performance of the tyres on your car, then why not check out an independent tyre test? These are available online or annually in leading motoring magazines and could open your eyes to a safety issue that has far-reaching consequences for you and your passengers.